Hi there, my name is Erin Kopeck, and I'm the Marketing Director for Higher Level. Hey guys, I'm Christina and I'm the Communications Coordinator here at Higher Level. And we're going to do a little bit of an introduction video for you guys today of who we are. And it's our first ever Facebook Live video, so Yay. we're just kind of winging it. <laughs> so we're excited to kind of get this started, and we hope that people are kind of available this morning to listen a little bit, some history about Higher Level. We are in our St. Louis office today, and we plan on giving you a tour and introducing you to some of our St. Louis team members. Um, but we kind of want to give you some background. Um, I've been with the company for six years, and I kind of oversee our marketing, um, social media operations, and kind of all of that jazz for all of our locations. And it's really been a great opportunity to learn um, and grow with the company. Uh, we we kind of have a um, a fast flip forward on growth and it's really exciting to see um, extra help um, which we are now higher level we rebranded a year ago and we actually started the company in a small little town in Johnson City Illinois um, Teresa Katubig is the CEO and president of our company and we started out in 1995 so a little over 20 um, something years we've been in business and it's it's super fun and kind of one thing that we pride ourselves on is we are a women-owned business, uh, which is great, and we support women-owned businesses. So Absolutely. it's always a great thing um, to kind of tout that. Another thing, um, just to kind of talk about too, is kind of where we have gone through the years. Um, so like I said, 1995 is when we originally started the company. Um, temp service, really, at a Johnson City, Illinois, and just kind of expanded from there. In 2001, we launched uh, kind of a separate division of our company, um, but just as important, and that is our payroll services. Um, so currently, we do probably close to 800, 900 clients in four, 47 states. Um, so we're moving on up, and I would say uh, eventually we'll be doing all 50 states, which is super exciting. Um, also, uh, one thing that we pride ourselves on is just having the ability and the knowledge to operate in all those states. I think it's nice um, just to be really well-rounded. Our payroll team and our staffing teams uh, really learn and, and grow. So it, it is great. And payroll is pretty intricate when you're talking about doing business in multiple states because every state is different. So being able to hit almost close to 50 states is, is pretty good for us and we're excited to see where that goes. Yeah, in 2007, we actually uh, launched operations in Edwardsville, Illinois. Um, kind of saw the need in the Metro East um, to kick off business there. Um, so Nicole Klein is heads operations there and has really grown that office. Uh, 2010, we expanded to downtown St. Louis. Um, go Cards! <laughs> and so we have grown leaps and bounds as well. And we'll meet some of those team members later on. Um, as we've been here for close to seven years. And we just got a brand new office, um, which was what, not even a year yeah, ago. Maybe. So we just got a brand new office, which you guys are going to get to see here shortly, um, that hosts our CRC, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but really exciting. It's definitely an upgrade, and we love it. So We also want to give a shout out. Um, so over a, a several year span, um, 2012, 2016, uh, we expanded to several locations, which includes Scottsdale, Arizona, Montgomery, Alabama, Columbia, Missouri, um, Evansville, Indiana, and our newest location is in Indianapolis, Indiana, which I love. Um, so great um, opportunities in those areas. Um, we love our teams. It's, it's really nice to continue to grow and expand. Um, we grow with our clients, um, and we grow with our team. So it's really a big part of who we are. Uh, the really nice thing about um, what we can really say that we've done is providing jobs and providing a better way of life to our candidates. And we can proudly say that since 1995, we have placed over, we have made over 40,000 placements um, since 1995. So that's, we feel like that's a great accomplishment. Um, we really support the communities that we work and play in. So. And kind of to support, you know, how we make 40,000 placements, you know, since 1995 and how we kind of can do the best that we can do in that is we have different things that we utilize. So kind of what I was talking about earlier, the CRC, um, and as well as we get certifications. Our team members get certifications through the American Staffing Association, through the American Payroll Association. So um, anything from certified staffing um, professionals to fundamental payroll um, 
I can't even remember, certificates. Yeah. So, I mean, across the board, we become educated and we learn more and it's all about continued growth within our company. Um, and then the CRC is pretty exciting. Um, the CRC was our newest addition to kind of the St. Louis office. So we just got this location not even a year ago and it hosts our CRC. So um, I guess the best way we can do it is just kind of take a look around. But basically this helps us staff anywhere in the country and it also helps give support to all of our office locations so that we can literally do the best that we can for our clients and getting the right people at the right place at the right time. So I guess we can just go take a look and see what everybody's up to. Yes. All right, so we're gonna walk in here to the CRC. All right, so let me turn this around so you guys can get a better view of my face. There we go. So this is our centralized recruiting center. Um, everybody's hard at work today on the phone, so we won't bother them too much, Hi, but. <laughs> hey guys. So this is actually cool too. So we have a map over here as well of all the places that we are currently located in. So we just kind of have a little fun space out here for everybody to be able to see. We're also big Cardinals fans. So you're gonna be able to see we have a lot of Cardinal memorabilia in our office location because we really are super big Cardinals fans. So our little conference area over here, which is nice. We have another map. Um, and then of course our lunch area and the area that we've been sitting at all morning. So it's kind of just an overview of our location here in St. Louis. So give me a second to get this set back up. Okay, we good? Good. Perfect. So that is, we have about a dozen team members here in the St. Louis location, um, but overall we have over 65 employees um, total in our eight locations. So, you know, growth and um, advancement is really what our company strives for. Um, continuing education, like uh, Christina said, um, and just being, you know, well-rounded individuals. Um, so I want Christina to kind of talk a little bit about our charity campaign and our higher level difference and kind of what that means to us. Yeah, so a little bit over a year ago, before we decided to call it the Higher Level Difference Campaign, we actually started asking our internal employees how they wanted to give back to the communities. We're really big on giving back to our community and doing everything we can to help them grow, um, because obviously we do business within these communities, so we want to see the best outcome for them. And so we just kind of asked our team members what they wanted to do and kind of how they felt about giving back monthly. And so... We started a campaign where we picked our top and favorite charities for every location that we're in. And that way we can kind of just give back to them and see what they can kind of do with that money. So we started that a little over a year ago. At the beginning of this year, we decided to kind of retitle it the higher level difference. Um, and we just kind of use it as our overall campaign. It started out just with our charity work. Um, Teresa allows us to have an entire volunteer day here. So we can actually take an eight hour paid day to go to any charity of our choice and give back as well. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity for that, but it just kind of came to an overall like this is the higher level difference, whether it is we're supporting and we're congratulating our internal employees on work anniversaries or work anniversaries, um, birthdays, we celebrate birthdays all the time, you know, so it just kind of became what it was known for and kind of our internal company culture and kind of how we wanted to change that and kind of give back to our internal employees, but also give back to our communities and it just kind of shows them a sense of being aware that there's other things that we can be doing outside of these four walls that we come to work every day. So that's been a really nice um, thing as far as giving back to our communities and just doing everything that we possibly can and kind of creating a difference in the world. So that gives us a little bit um, of company culture and structure on that end. Uh, we are really big into company culture. Obviously we showed you around the office. We're big cards fans. We try to go to a party room like a suite room at the at Cardinals game every year. Um, we have an elaborate Christmas party every single year. We just, we like to have fun. So those are the types of things that we kind of utilize as our company culture. And, you know, it just is getting bigger and bigger as millennials are coming into the workforce and they're kind of changing what it looks like to get hired on at a company. They're, they know what they want and company culture is a huge part of that. So we're just kind of changing that to kind of mimic what we think people want. So, and what we think is good for our internal employees.
I agree. And kind of one thing that we pride ourselves on as far as company culture goes is, you know, having a good time, but working hard too. So uh, we are very flexible. Uh, one thing Christina didn't mention is we also like to, um, we're very dog friendly in the offices. So we have people bring their dogs and, you know, obviously dogs make everyone happy. So that's always a great thing. Um, and we do office happy hours, um, which is, you know, some of our favorites, but all in all, um, we do work hard, but we like to have fun and kind of celebrate too. And, you know, we have a lot to celebrate over the years. And so a few things I just wanted to kind of talk about is just some awards that we won over the years. A lot of our recognition um, comes out of the St. Louis area, uh, which, are, which we are very happy for um, from the St. Louis Business Journal, the St. Louis Small Business Monthly. Um, they really give us an opportunity to kind of tell our story. Um, so most recently, um, we were we at a higher level um, was nominated um, for business leader um, with the St. Louis Small Business Monthly um, and that was here in 2017 and then also um, like Christina mentioned we are very active members of the American Staffing Association and the American Apparel Association um, so we last year in 2016 we actually won um, a rebrand um, awards for outstanding communications um, for rebranding and marketing so we were excited about that uh, with our new look and feel with higher level and then um, we also have received customer service awards um, you know best in business um, for reliability and value and we really pride ourselves on that and it's a big part of who we are and I think a little bit too to kind of hit on more of the company rebrand and why we chose to do it I mean nothing internally with our structure has changed at all but being in marketing and kind of trying to always stay ahead of the forefront we knew that it was super important as a company brand we had been around for 20 years and we were ready to to change it up and give a new look and feel to what we were doing so nobody that's still owned by the same company or same uh, owner it's still everything's still the same we just wanted a different look and feel and so that's kind of why you see us as a different name now so so this summer we kind of plan on uh, rolling with this theme and doing the Facebook live videos um, on a on a bi weekly basis um, kind of whatever whenever we have something good to talk about so we want to ask you um, as our viewers to kind of let us know what you want to hear um, job search tips you know what's new with HR um, you know what Millennials are looking for workplace culture um, we are, you know, getting, picking ideas, gathering our thoughts, and we plan on kind of making this a, a higher level no series for this summer. So feel free to ask us questions and um, comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas for us. Yeah, we're really excited about it, and we want topics that tailor to you guys. So be sure to send them our way, and we uh, definitely look forward to continuing this series. So. Absolutely. And kind of wanting, we'll end on this note, um, just kind of sharing our mission. And it really encompasses everything that we are um, personally and, and professionally. Um, so connecting people with a purpose in a fun, re results-driven atmosphere, we create teams, grow careers, and change lives. And that's really what we tell. So thank you for tuning in today. Again, let us know what you would like to hear. Um, what we can share with you, et cetera. Um, follow Higher Level on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and of course on LinkedIn. So I'm Erin Kopeck. Again, thank you for tuning in. And this is, my name's Christina. Thanks again, guys. And we will see you guys soon. See ya, have a great week. Thanks, bye.